Do you use Google Calendar for productivity? Here are six tips and tricks you might not know yet. Hey everybody, my name is Micah Gonzalez. That's M-I-C-A Gonzalez with a Z. And in this channel, we are all about productivity. So if that sounds like your thing, stick around. I love Google Calendar. I use it every day. And as I kept using it, I realized there were so many tips and tricks that you can do with your Google Calendar to really up-level things and help you keep a productive life. In this video, I'm going to cover six different Google Calendar tips and tricks that you might not know yet. So be sure to stick around and I'll show you how they work and how to do them. Tip number one is to quickly toggle between different views via the keyboard shortcuts. As you can see, I have my Google Calendar here and it's on a monthly view. If I wanted to go to a weekly view, see what I have this week, I just have to press W to go to weekly view. To go back to monthly view, press M. You can also set a custom view. By default, it's four days by pressing X, but you can change that in the settings by going here, clicking settings, going to keyboard shortcuts, and then setting a custom view for as many days or weeks as you might like. And just for fun, if you click Y, it's going to show you a yearly calendar view and A shows you your daily agenda. Tip number two, quickly add events using keyboard shortcuts. Not just toggling between views, you can actually use two different shortcuts to help you create new events instantly. My favorite over here is pressing letter Q for a quick add event. So that's something that I want to make. For example, Taylor Swift meet and greet. Yeah, I know. Let's just say then I can just quickly add the time, the dates for all of that. And I'm going to hit save. On the other hand, pressing C is going to open up the create view where you can see everything that you might need for more details, where you can add descriptions, you can toggle between guests and all that stuff. It's really just depends on your preference. Tip number three is to change your default notification time. If you've never played around with this setting, by default, Google Calendar will give you a 10 minute notification time. If this is something you want to change, it's as easy as going to this gear setting over here, clicking settings, and then going to settings for my calendar. You're going to have to choose a different calendar. I'm going to pick this one over here. And then we're going to go all the way to event notifications and then change it. So by default, it's by it's 10, but I changed mine to five just because for me, I know it takes only five minutes for me to get ready for an online meeting. If you need more time, for example, for your commutes, for your work, all that stuff, make it longer. So we are just about halfway through in this video. If you are getting any value out of it, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment. Let me know. What do you use Google Calendar for? What are your favorite features? I'd love to hear from you. Tip number four is to get Google Calendar to email you your daily schedule. This is one of my favorite ways to use Google Calendar because every morning it tells me at 5 a.m. what I have to do for the entire day. It's the only email I check in the beginning of the day. And if you want to get that email as well, here's what you need to do. So we are first going to go to the calendar that we want to get our daily agenda emailed to us. And we're going to go to the settings and sharing. And we are going to toggle over here, going to click on other notifications and down here at the very bottom, you're going to see a daily agenda. Now it's going to only be set to email or none at all. So if you want to turn it on, just click email and it should send you an email at 5 a.m. every single morning. Tip number five is to use Google Calendar to schedule appointments. If you're like me, you do one on one consultation calls or maybe you're a student or a teacher and you take on calls with people one by one and you want people to select a time that you know you're available. This is what you want to do. So on Google Calendar, I'm going to say every Wednesday from 9 a.m to 12 uh, noon, I'm going to have a free slot for some appointments. So I'm going to drag that. You saw me do that. Click appointment slots. I'll give it a name. I'm going to call it consultation hours open. And then I'm just going to set the duration. I would recommend having some kind of buffer for this. So if you typically meet with people for 30 minutes, you might want to have a 15 minute buffer. So you'd make it 45 minutes total. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit save. And if you want people to finally see this page and actually view appointments with you, what you want to do is go here, click on this, go to appointment page. It's going to open up something like this. And then you can send this link to people who can book appointments with you. I absolutely love this for quick appointment setting. But the downside is it's only available if you have Google Workspace. And my final tip is to create a public calendar so you can have people RSVP to a big event. This works great for any scheduled events where you don't want to have to input 50 or 100 email addresses or even not that many. Even if you're thinking of like 20, this is how you might want to do it. The first thing is you might want to create a new public calendar. 
You can take any calendar and then just change the settings and set it to public. But I recommend for any public events where you don't want people peeping into your own events, you can create a public calendar just for public events like this one. To do that, click here, create new calendar, give it a name. I like to call it something like public events calendar, something very generic like that. Hit create, wait for Google to do its thing. And then as you can see, it's now over here. So let's go ahead and make this public event. I'm going to drag a time for the event. I'm going to say family reunion. Let's just pretend I have one of those coming up. And what you want to do is make sure that the schedule, that the calendar being used is your public events calendar. So I'm going to go to the advanced settings of this event by clicking edit event, going to more actions, publishing this event, and then copying the link to the event that I can send to anybody like my family who can add this event to their own Google Calendar. So I'm gonna hit copy. And what happens is if they put this in a new tab, if anybody else does this, they are going to get this particular screen. So they are going to be able to add this own thing to their own calendar. As you can see, now I can add it to any of my own personal calendar. So if I got this link, it can easily be added into anybody else's calendar and you don't have to juggle a hundred different emails just to get them to the event. So those are six Google Calendar tips and tricks to help you make the most out of your Google Calendar. Let me know if you learned anything new from this video. And if you're looking for more digital productivity videos, I recommend these ones over here and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.